What's up? How's it going? Um, just getting ready to do a messages from heaven reading. Um, like I said on the other videos, I do not claim to be a medium. I just am connected to spirit guides and I'm asking um, the spirit guides, um, your spirit guides to come through with any messages that they need you to hear. This could be um, ancestors, guardian angels, archangels, um, your divinely appointed spirit team that you have around you, which can include passed on loved ones. So um, I just felt a real need to connect with those and um, we'll see what comes out. It's going to mostly be oracle cards um, and then we may uh, pull in some tarot to confirm who's coming through. So um, just on, just like on my previous videos this week, um, I picked the major arcana um, that associate with the sign and that's how we'll determine and get confirmation of who the message is for. So let's take this one and we get Scorpio. Okay, so let's get started with Scorpio. Okay, let's start with Crystal Angels. Angels, what message do you have for Scorpio? Angels, what message do you have for Scorpio? And we get Topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as, it, as it's blocking your health and happiness. So I'm feeling like, you know, there could be forgiveness that you need to give to someone else or forgiving yourself. And sometimes I, I had um, a similar message in a previous video where sometimes it's easier for us to focus on anger than it is sadness or, um, you know, um, abandonment feelings, right? So we can tend to um, go with the easiest path, which is getting angry. Let's get another message from the angels. Angels, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? And we get the smoky quartz. And it says clearing negativity. Release negativity from within or around you. And so I feel like this again goes back to, um, you know... Um, releasing like anger and um, and allowing forgiveness you know they say that forgiveness is for us not necessarily for the person that hurt us so yes work on forgiving um, forgiving them but it's this is to release it from yourself um, and also never forget to um forgive yourself in situations too. That's something that is easily lost in the shuffle when you're trying to um, make sense of a situation where you were hurt by somebody. You also have to forgive yourself because I think that we tend to um, hold a grudge against ourselves for allowing things like, you know, um, that to happen to us depending on what your situation is. So these cards, I, I, it's escaping me what they're called, but I think it's called Heaven Sent or something like that. I'm so sorry. Um, but let's get a couple of those cards to see who's coming through. What messages do we have from Heaven? Spirit Team for Scorpio. And we get There Is No Such Thing As Death. So I think that Scorpio may be more aware than anything that death is a transition. Um, you know, energy never stops. It just transforms. It either keeps going or transforms or transfers itself to something else. The energy, right? So what other messages do we have? We get now I have no pain. 
So this is a message coming from someone who has passed, who obviously was in pain um, before they passed, um, before they transitioned. So now they're saying, now I have no pain. So this is where they were um, given that healing. And so maybe these flowers have some significance for you to determine, you know, who is coming through for you. Let's get a couple tarot to see if uh, we can confirm who is this person coming through. And we get the temperance card. It says patience. So this could have been a Sagittarius that you were dealing with. Um, but this is the temperance card, and this is also talking about healing and balance and, um, you know, some of the challenges that you've gone through have, you know, given you more strength. Um, let's get another card here. And... We get, this is sacrifice. Twelve. So this is the hangman energy. So there's, you know, a lot of water there. This could have been a water sign, a Pisces in particular. Um, you see the rainbow there. I don't, which always to me represents healing and um, you know lessons learned so I don't know if that picture had any significance for you to determine who this is and we get foundation and achievement this is like the four of wands so this could have been you know um, someone that you had a very stable relationship with it could have even been you know your partner um, because that is tends to be like the wedding card for me or it could be um, about a particular house maybe something in this picture we see the rainbow again and we see the rainbow here in this topaz so I really feel like you know spirit is saying you know that when you see rainbows that that is definitely a sign that that you know they're trying to let you know they're there with you um, let's see, let's get a couple of these, <coughs> excuse me, what messages from heaven do we have for Scorpio? It says, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition. So I don't know if this, it looks like some type of leopard. Um, but the message that they're saying is really, um, you know, use your intuition and allow your spirit team to, to guide you through your intuition. And that was the number 21 card, if that is significant for you. Which, um, yeah. Any other messages? Oh, this one is flying out. Okay. We have problems that have held you back are being cleared. We are monitoring it. So again, this, um, this particular, it looks like a river. Um, with trees, this may have some significance to you, but the message that's coming through is, um, you know, this healing, this forgiveness that needs to happen. And they're acknowledging that they're helping you with that. And clearing negativity. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's get a spirit guides message. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? 
and we get inspire passion so this may be significant for you a fire sign coming through possibly life devoid of passion can be boring uninspired be a boring and uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life this is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred so i feel like there's a call to yes you know clear negativity and heal so that you can get back out there i feel like there may have you know this may um, whatever this um, anger or negativity that you're trying to heal from may have been holding you back from, you know, doing what you love or, you know, being a part of things, um, you know, may have even really the grief could have brought you some um, deeper depression. Any other messages from Spirit Guides for... Scorpio and we get serenity the most important relationship you can have is with yourself this is a time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today again this is a confirmation about this clearing negativity and healing from pain they're saying they have no pain and there is no such thing as death they have just transitioned and become a part of your spirit team and they want you to know that okay let's see let's get starseed message some messages of encouragement here And we get creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So that really goes along with that inspire passion and getting back to it. You may have, you may be a very creative person. Um, I get the feeling that you know you may have felt blocked because of this negativity that needed to heal and be cleared out. So, what other messages do we have for Scorpio? <laughs> Excuse me. Patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So definitely can go along with that forgiveness heals. And we get free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Yes, definitely love without conditions, um, forgiveness. All right, Scorpio, that is the message that came through for you. Um, it may, it will definitely not resonate with everybody. I hope this helped comfort you and allow you to um, feel supported by your spirit team around you. Remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.